What's up, guys? So, all right. This whole vlog is going to be about Breaking Bad, except for this part I'm going to say right now. I got pulled over right before work. Remember that I vlogged yesterday? I was like, I'm probably totally going to get pulled over. Well, uh, today I'm just driving home right before I get home from work. Driving home. And uh, I'm just driving. And for some reason, like, I always, always keep an eye out for cops. Like, all the time. And I think my mind got thrown off me because, like, this stupid-ass kid in, like, a Mini Cooper was driving, like, erratically, like... And this other guy was trying to pass him, and the dude just kept, like, getting in his way, like, fucking jerking, like, through the... I was like, what the fuck? I don't know why. I'm really stupid when it comes to this. So I speed the fuck up so uh, I can get in front of this van, and so that kid wouldn't do that. Like, so I try to get on the side of this kid, and I'm just like, I'm like, what the fuck is this kid doing? So that other dude can get on the other lane. and But the kid, like, when I caught up to him, he ends up going and turning into some place. And I was like, what the, what's this dude's problem? Anyway, so I think that got me, like, all out of whack. And uh, totally uh, didn't pay attention that there was... The, the the cop didn't, like, see me do any of that. He, like, caught me, like, five, ten minutes later. Like, right when I'm about to turn on the street to get to my house. Well, turn on the street to get to my subdivision. And uh, totally pulled me over. And I was like... I look in my rear view, and I see the lights, like, not the flashing lights, but, like, the lights cop cars usually have, like, the regular lights, and I was like, fuck, that's a cop, and then as soon as I say that's a cop, woo, fucking got pulled over, but he gave me a warning, he was like, yo, man, I'm just pulling you over because your registration is, like, totally expired, and he was like, whoa, he was like, so is your inspection, what's up with that, and I was, uh, I tell this story every time, shh, it's not. Well, actually, it is real, but not the way I tell it. Um, like, my handle in my car is, like, totally broken. And I have to use the passenger side. So I always say that my gauge, my gauges don't work. They don't. But I say they're broken because they stole... I actually think this is a real story. Um, they, uh, they broke into my car one day. But not, not when I owned it. When the, the previous owner, they broke into his car trying to uh, steal his wife's purse or some shit like that. And because uh, she left it in the car. Women don't ever leave your stuff in the car. Uh, they tried popping the lock. So they just end up like totally ripping into the car side of the door and uh, stole her purse. They end up breaking the window because they couldn't open the damn door because they suck as robbers. Uh, couldn't get into the door. Anyway, so my gauges are messed up because I don't know if they tried to steal the radio too. It's a stock radio. Why would you steal a stock radio? <clears throat> but the gauges haven't worked since I bought the car. But anyways, that's what I tell them. Like, oh yeah, this thing, they broke, tried breaking into my car and they stole my radio and that's why it doesn't work. <laughs> that's what I tell them. Anyway, so Breaking Bad, right? Uh, if you saw the season finale, like I said, spoilers, if uh, you care about this. I don't know how long this vlog's going to be now, but I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes. Uh, if you saw Breaking Bad, I just saw it right now. As you can see right there, Talking Dead is on. Uh, I might actually watch Talking Dead because... Uh, they were, Aaron Paul's on Vince, uh, uh, what's his face? Gillian. <sighs> and, uh, <sighs> Jimmy Kimmel are on Talking, Talking Bad. But anyways, uh, I was not, okay, as all of you know, first off, you, I don't think, like, I've been on the fence with Breaking Bad, and it's because, like, it's a different strokes for different folks, you know? For And we, I did say that I was disappointed with Dexter's last season. I was disappointed with it, but I loved everything else in Dexter. Um, so, like, I'm already coming off a disappointing show that I loved. And Breaking Bad, I've been on the fence since, like, season, the beginning of season five. Like, I just have not been into it the way everybody else is into it, saying it's the greatest show ever. And my theory is that the reason I'm not as into it as everybody else is because I marathon through it. And I think if I watched it for the years or whatever it's been going on, and I had to wait week per week, maybe I'd be more excited about it. Because at the moment, I think I like Walking Dead more. Maybe. I'll get back to you on that. I'm not going to say that for sure. Because Breaking Bad was a really good show. Uh, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't get into it until like season five. I really did not. And uh, season five was just like, oh, all right, okay, let's get going on. First off, it didn't end the way I wanted it to. A lot of people are probably going to like it. I don't know. I'm pretty sure all the Breaking Bad faithful's like, yeah, that's the way it should have ended. My thing was, Breaking Bad did a lot of crap in it. And it was a lot of awesome stuff, and I think that's why a lot of people loved it. I was hoping Breaking Bad, because <sighs> the episode before this, before the finale, 
totally set the finale up to be amazing. Like, it was kind of... I wasn't even that thrilled with last week's episode. But the last, like, five minutes set it up to be something crazy. Because he was already going to give up. And he was just going to be like, oh, oh. And then he saw his, you know, ex-people Grey Matter on uh, TV. And then he was like, you talking shit? And then he just... That's what made him go do everything in this last episode. And he was ready to give up. He was ready to give up. And it just, ah, uh, it sucked because I was hoping, I was, my thing is like, everybody's like, no, it's perfect. It fills the story. Yes, it does. It pro it ends probably the way it should have ended, but it's not the way I would have liked it to end. It, that, this is my whole opinion. This is all opinions. I'm not saying everything. It's just what I think. Um, you know, like I said, if you saw it, uh, you know, it just closed everything out. Like he took care of all his like evil loose ends and all that stuff and he still provided for his family in the end and blah 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 you know all that stuff like he took he basically i just saw it on, like vince gilligan just said uh gillian i think that's his name uh gilligan just sounds better uh he said that this was the type of show that needed to have um like i don't say i wouldn't say open-ended uh it was Resolve, I think that's what it is. Uh, or Closure, something shit like that. Um, I don't know. Watch Talking Dead if you haven't seen it. So he was saying like that, like, they everybody was glad that it wasn't like a Sopranos ending where they let the audience kind of, you know, dictate the ending. He was like, no, this is more of a show where it needed to have its answers. Like, everything needed to have Resolve. And he feels like they did that. And I was like, that's awesome. I'm glad when writers think about that kind of stuff because it was awesome. Yes, like I'm saying, okay, the ending was probably the ending it should have had, you know? But, like, ah, uh, I don't... With Breaking Bad, my whole thing was... This last episode, I was like, everybody should have died. I cannot believe Pinkman survived. But I knew it was going to be something stupid like that. I was like, he's going to live because he's the fan favorite. Yeah, man, screw that. Like, uh, it's the same thing with Dexter, though. If you haven't seen the ending of Dexter, spoilers again, Dexter should have died. Even though he's a fan favorite, I think Dexter should have died. Like, it should have ended with Dexter dying. Like, that's what it should have been. And uh, it didn't happen. Like, ugh, stupid. Anyways, that's another day. Uh, so, yeah, like, oh, Okay, what I thought should have happened is I was hoping Breaking Bad was going to do something that I've never seen any show ever do. Drama, comedy, anything. I wanted it to be where the character was the exact opposite of what he was when this show started. And this was the perfect show to do that because he started off Mr. Goody Two Shoes and then he became one of the most evil sons of bitches ever. And, uh, you know, like, he attacked his wife. Like, you know, he stole his child. Like, it was just going crazy. And they always, they always did, like, oh, we gotta leave it open. We gotta leave it open, you know, to make sure he's still got some good in him. And, uh, you know, like I said, the episode before just set it up to where I thought he was just going to go full-blown, balls to the wall, I'm going to kill everybody. I thought he was going to kill the Grey Matter people. It would have been crazy if he would have killed his family. Like, that would have been nuts. And, of course, I thought he was going to kill the white Nazi people. But, oh, man, and I thought he was going to kill Pinkman. Like, that would have been crazy. Or, yeah, oh, he should have just... Actually, the way I thought it was going to end, too, is I, th I thought they were going to do something like they did, where he was going to go kill all of them, and then Pinkman was going to end up killing him. Um, which he had the opportunity, and I would have rather liked that, too. I would have rather had Pinkman shoot freaking Walt in the face. Like, I would have rather had that had an ending than this one. Like, they just made it to where you... Like, if you didn't like Walt, then they kind of made it to where, like, oh, maybe you'll like Walt now. And it's like, No! Like, I love that people pick their sides and people's like, oh, you know, there's going to be a few people that are like, oh, well, maybe Walt wasn't so bad. Like, no, man, come on. I wanted him to just go balls to the wall crazy, but whatever. I feel like I don't, it's already going to be 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and go. But yeah, because it doesn't upload if it's longer than 10 minutes. So as always, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the music my channel. I'll probably talk about this more tomorrow. I'll see you guys because I'm off and stuff. And then, boop!